Hi, I'm Zainab. I'm Isabella. I'm Hardy. We're the Mecky Besties, and this is Smart, Smart Home. Home. Smart Home is a customizable dollhouse that teaches young children, specifically targeted towards young girls, about the fundamentals and scope of circuitry. With the inclusion of many different components that we learned about in ES50, simplified into different toy components for children's use, we made this dollhouse fun and accessible. The various principles include a fan and lamp controlled by AND and OR logic gates, an LED oven that changes temperature with different resistors, a mirror that lights up based on proximity, and a fading LED shower with different capacitors. These are all included in two rooms, and we use an LCD to display interactive elements and feedback. This first room um, is supposed to be a little bit of a mix of a kitchen, so it has an oven, a lamp, and a fan. And the lamp and the fan are connected with logic gates. The first one is an AND gate, so as you can see here, if we turn on both switches, like an AND gate, <laughs> it turns on. Beautiful lamp. And now, for the fan, this is an OR gate, so if we turn one on, it'll spin. If we turn the other one, it's also on, and both on. <laughs> okay. So our next element is the oven, which has uh, the customizability of having three different temperatures, which we do using three different resistors. So the user can choose which resistor value they want, and that changes the like temperature. So you just snap it right on there, and then the LCD will tell you um, how many ohms are in that resistor and then what the temperature is as well. And that also corresponds to the brightness of the LED. So if I snap it onto a higher level resistor, then the lights are a little bit dimmer and the temperature is lower. All right, now we're gonna transition over to the second room. Um, so we're gonna flip the switch so that um, it uh, changes the display on the LCD to reflect the bathroom, which we'll talk about later. But first we're gonna talk about the mirror, which uh, is controlled by a photo sensor. So when the doll gets close enough to the mirror, let's say this is the doll, the mirror lights will turn on. And that's all based on the distance that the photo sensor reads and we use an Arduino to control this. So now we're gonna turn our attention over to the shower system. Over here we have two LEDs that are hooked up to a series of capacitors. So for instance, if we wanted our user to be able to take the longest possible shower, they would hook up the snaps to the longest the largest number of capacitors in parallel. This is equivalent to 80 microfarads total. Once we've hooked up our shower to the capacitor, we press the on button and then allow it to discharge. This symbolizes a shower. And as we can see over here on the LCD, it gives us the time to end. It would be 1.36 seconds long. From start to finish, building Smart Home has been such a rewarding process for all three of us. It was a wonderful opportunity to reinforce our pre-existing electrical engineering skills and pick up a bunch of new ones along the way. Mackie besties for life. Go Smart Home.